hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel my name is precious in this video we want to continue our study on uh, plain analytic geometry by looking at the topic uh, equation of circles so what is a circle we can see um, a diagram here is actually a plane shape uh, all right so it has a center the center is usually represented with the coordinate 0 comma 0 and then it has a radius, which is a distance from the center to any part of the circumference. This round line here is called the circumference. And then, of course, we have the coordinate of the radius. Remember, the distance from the center to the, any point on the circumference is a radius. So this distance is actually r. And so the coordinate is uh, r, comma 0. At this point, the distance, the x value at this point is r. Why the x uh, y value at this point is zero that's why we have this okay so now in uh, determining the equation of a circle there are properties you are going to observe in that uh, circle uh, sorry that equation one is the center and then the second is the radius so the center of a circle of course you know when we have the, we have these two cases for a and for b now, in this case, for A, the center of the circle coincides with the origin of the plane. Whereas here, the center of the circle is different from the origin. Here is the origin, and whereas the center of this circle is at this point, and we represented it with H, K. So the coordinate of the center here is H, K. Of course, that is the general coordinate for, or the standard coordinate for the center of the circle. So if it is now at the origin, then we say that the center is 0, 0, whereas our radius is always R. Right, so however, this is the general representation of the center of a circle. So when the center of a circle is outside the origin, how does the equation look like? This is the nature of the equation X minus the X coordinate of the center, which is H all squared plus y minus the y coordinate of the center which is k all equal to r squared okay so and this is a standard form of the equation of any circle that is a standard form right so once you have an equation in this form equation of a circle in this form just pick out the h here pick out the k that forms the center of that circle and then your r here is this is the radius of the circle now what it means is that if this the center of the circle coincides with the origin of the circle like in the case a here your equation will now be x squared plus y squared all equal to r squared this, what it means is that your k is equal to zero and your h is also equal to zero all right so now we also have what we call the general form of the equation and that is gotten by expanding this if you expand this you are going to get the general form but this is how we represent it x squared plus y squared what it means is that because you have a square on these two brackets here it means that by the time you expand it you are definitely going to get x squared and then you also get another term that will have x and then a constant coefficient. And that's why we have the constants here, d, e, and f. Okay, so, and by the time you complete your expansion, you will also get a constant that will not have any of the variables. All right, so, and that's how we got this general form. So, at some point, we can give you, you know, the equation of a circle in the standard form this way. And you can also see equation of circles, you know, in this general form. So either ways, we should be able to determine the center and the radius from any given equation. And of course, that is the way we have problems or examples to solve in this particular topic. So for instance, look at this. It says we should find the center and uh, the radius of each of the circle equation we are given here. So look at this. Now we are given that uh, x minus half all squared plus y plus 5 all squared is equal to 9. And they are asking us to find the center. So let's try to begin somewhere here. 
So to find the center, it already satisfies the standard form of a circle. And so all you need to do is uh, take whatever you have beside your x and equate it to negative h. That's one of the ways, but look at the way I prefer to go about it. If you come back to these equations here, you will see that if you pick everything here and equate it to zero, if I equate it to zero, whatever my x is, is actually the value of the h. And the same thing is applicable here. If you pick this y minus k equate to zero, whatever you get as your y is the value of your k. So let's quickly do that here. So once this is in the standard form, all I need to do is to pick what I have in the bracket. I have x minus half. And when I equate it to zero, I am going to get that my x is equal to half. What it means is that my h is actually half. And by the time I do the second one, pick my y plus 5, equate that to 0. I'm going to get that my y is equal to negative 5. And that means that this is the value of my k. Therefore, for the first part of the question that says we should find the center C, which is equal to h comma k. So that means that the center for that first question is half comma negative 5. And that is my center. So how do I get then the, the radius of the equation? Very simple. The same thing we did here. Look at it. Now you can see that R square is on the right-hand side. Now, if whatever you have on the right-hand side, if you equate it you know, to your R squared and then make R the subject by taking this to the other side and taking the square root of whatever you have there, that will give you your R alone. So let's quickly do that. So if I pick everything I have here, I will equate it to R squared. And that means that my R alone is going to be equal to the square root of 9. And that is equal to 3. So that is uh, my solution for the radius. So you see, this is very beautiful. And then what about the second one? For the second example here, all we need to do, pick x plus 4, equate it to 0. It means that my x is equal to negative 4, and that particular x is my h. And so for y, pick y minus 3 equal to 0. It means that my y is equal to positive 3, which is my k. All I will have then is that my center is equal to h comma k which is negative 4 comma 3 and that is the center and so for the second part of that question your radius r squared is equal to 72 so what will you do there simply take the square to the other side that gives you the square root of 72 which you can simplify as 6 root 2 how did i get that when you um, expand this to get a perfect square, you have 36 times 2. And then the square root of 36 is 6. And then you have the square root of 2. Of course, you can find a video on this under salt. Check the playlist for salt and you will find that. Now, look at this. You can see other examples. These are actually equation of circles. In this case, they are not in the standard form. You are expected to put them in the standard form and then get the center and the radius as required. Uh, however, we are going to be seeing this in another video. How to actually simplify this kind of example, which is in the general form. You can see from here now, our D in A is actually the coefficient of X, which is 8. Our E is 6, which is a coefficient of Y. There is no F here. The F here is 0. Um, while our d in this one is negative 10, e is minus 16, and then f in that is uh, 53. So how do you simplify this kind of uh, equations of circles to get your radius and the center of the circle? We are going to see that in our next video. Please kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you have not done so, uh, do give a thumbs up to this video. It helps us in the algorithm and we will see you in our next video. Bye.